Hello, my name is Liu, and today I would like to talk about how to gear your guardian. For a guardian, your primary skill is your primary stat is actually health, aka morale. Sometimes vitality is better. Sometimes max morale is better. For this update, when at the level one one five cap, vitality is better than morale. Which is why I have vitality essences slotted nearly everywhere. Your primary focus is to get maximum mitigation for T two, and also high morale. Your block parry evade will be your next focus. If your morale is already very high, you have high t- mitigation. Then just get some BPE. You can also get some finesse for fights where your finesse matter. For example, in the fight, Abyss of More Death T two, in the second boss Sagrog, you are the only person who is removing corruptions on on the armors. So you need to have high finesse, at least some finesse, not very high, but at least some finesse in order to use your sting to remove corruption. My so like I said, vitality, mitigation, block, parry, evade, finesse, and. That is it. You do not need critical rating. You do not need mastery. You do not need resistance. You do. You don't even need critical defense, because your bolster and your sh- heavy shield alone will provide much of your critical defense. Incoming healing is also an a a nice one to have, if you don't if you don't know what to put. So, to summarize, vitality and health is the best to have. Followed by mitigation, you want to have capped mitigation, and also health. After you have earned enough health and mitigation, then put your stats into block, parry, and evade. You can also put your stats in finesse, and incoming healing. Do not get critical rating. Do not get outgoing healing. Do not get physical or tactical mastery. Do not get resistance. Do not get critical defense. Because you simply don't need those essences. That is all.